Hello, hello, hello. This is Charles on the God Principles. I want to welcome you to my channel. This video is going to be about the truth behind Filipino women and relationships. I want to welcome you to my channel. First of all, I want to apologize to my subscribers. I've been in a transition right now. I'm getting some new equipment in because my studio lights, I needed to get new bulbs. I had to ship them in. I'm looking at upgrading my studio to give you better quality content. The real reason behind the God principles is freedom. I discuss ways to make money so that you can live where you want to live. I discuss about relationships, the relationships between men and women. And I talk about how men's spirits have been damaged. But this particular video is going to talk about the reality of relationships with Filipino women. Recently, there have been some videos about the price of a girlfriend, and they say the girlfriend is free. That's not true. The expenses you're going to have, will, you will have whether you're with a Filipino woman or not. The real question is, do you want a girlfriend or an escort? Let's call this what it is. If you have to pay for her food and all these other living expenses for her to be with you, that is not a girlfriend. That is an escort. And if you can pay for her, somebody else can pay for her too. This is just the reality of this. This is just the reality. There are men coming here and they're paying for those sexcations. And they're getting Filipino escorts. That's just the way it is over here. Same in the United States. You can go to uh, out to Vegas and have the same experience. Only it costs more. And the women are just there for your sexual fantasies. Here, they go a little bit further. They can be protective of you so that you're not taken advantage of in this environment because there's such thing as a skin tax. If you're a foreigner, prices may go up if you're not aware. Once you learn it, you can avoid it. On this channel, The God Principles, you will see success stories because they do exist. But the part that was not covered with all of those men were the disasters that, that they had to go through in order to get to the right one. A lot of those men have been through divorces. Um, with Filipinas. Some of them have taken their Filipina to their home country and the Filipina has uh, divorced them and left them. Um, I have a friend of mine, his name was Derek Alongapo, which led to me coming here because he had a Facebook page and he put me on the Facebook page and I met the Filipina that I came over here in order to get engaged to and marry. Derek Alongabo married a Filipina and took her back to the United States. They lived in Florida. He had been here five years. He met this one. He married her and he took her back. He met her off of a Facebook page. Derek was working for the airline. 
He was a baggage handler. And he was taking care of her in the United States. This is a true story, and I'm sharing it because you need to be careful about taking them back to your home country because there are real horror stories. Derek got sick. He was bedridden. He's a friend of the family. That's how I know this. He was so sick, he had to crawl to the bathroom. She left him. She left him in those conditions. He died. It may have been COVID. I haven't gotten a full story yet. But I was watching him on Facebook. He was treating her nice having parties and stuff like that. But I don't think she worked. He took care of her entirely. He went to work, and it looks like he was just trying to make her happy. But in the end, and this is not the first time, there are other men over here that have said, you'll get one, and the minute you get sick, they'll walk off and leave you. These are real horror stories. See, my conscience bothers me. It's like, okay, you're seeing the successes, but you got to hear the horror story too. Realize what you're walking into. That girlfriend experience, you open yourself up to some consequences that you may not like. You may not like. You may be opening yourself up to another element in the Philippines that's going to cost you some money to get out of. My experience, giving them my net worth will diminish my self-worth and my dignity in my own eyes. So I'm not doing that. I'm too mature. It's like, no, I'm not going to hurt myself just to have a woman around and sleep with her. It ain't worth it. It's just not. I see them marketing Filipinas on YouTube, and I thought about it. I really did, because they have some very inviting shorts. However, I'm not paying no money to talk to a woman online. I'm not doing that. I live here. I see through this, uh, these marketing boys. So you have to understand my background. The purpose of the God principles was really to launch another business for me over here. I'm a brand strategist and digital marketer. So I look at this in the branding and business sense and a part of my personal lifestyle. So I'm not talking my opinion here. I'm looking at the marketing aspects of the Philippines. They're marketing the Philippines as a vacation spot. That's why you see all of these travel logs of people coming over here, which is nice. But if you live in here, them beaches get played out real quick. You can only do that so long, and then that stuff becomes boring as hell. As a matter of fact, I went a few times, and it's like, all these beaches are the same. It's just a bunch of young people out there drinking, partying, and then they're going back to their home countries. The other aspect of this country is the business development. And there are business opportunities here. The president, Marcos, has said that the Philippines needs to develop as a vacation spot because it's competing with all the other countries, Thailand, Bali, Singapore, Taiwan, all these other Asian countries, and Vietnam. Vietnam is a hot spot because Thailand, is its brand reputation is going downhill because all of the negative stuff that's coming out of there too. So I'm sharing this so that you can make an informed decision 
This would be a great spot to retire. Your money would go further here. Go where it's best for you. There's another channel called the Digital Nomad. You should check it out. Because other people are on the move because of what's happening in their home country all over the globe. If this content has been of value to you, to help you make a decision, I'm going to ask that you click like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification because I'm going to ramp up my content creation to show you some really positive things of how you can make a healthy decision about the lifestyle for you. There's going to be some training available. Marketing Maverick, where you can join a training program so that you can de develop a digital income. There's also going to be some life coaching services for those experiencing those issues in America, and you're going to have to go through some, sided, some type of consulting before you deal with this Filipino environment because you're going to come in from America and they can see that you are a novice and they can, it's like written on your face. You, <laughs> I've been here long enough to say it's like, wow, how long you been here? Oh, I just got here. You can see it on their face. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's like I've been here long enough and it's like, they, their face is like, wow, it's like in Candyland. But anyway, hope you like my content. I'm going to ramp up my schedule. My, my new equipment and stuff should be here this week. And thank you for watching.